Hello, good morning, at least it's morning right now. Hi, my name is Mayela, and today I am bringing to you another day in life of a public health, <laughs> public health nurse video. And right now it's about 8.20. I did already see a patient for a lab draw, and I drew several tubes right here. Um, I did label them, but now I have to spin them. But anyways, if you like nursing and thrifting content, definitely subscribe. I bring a new video to you every Sunday. So let's just go on and uh, with the day and see what it brings. Next, I'm gonna go with spin though, so come with me. And before you come with me, I also wanna say um, this sweater right here, it says Enfermera. Today is a really foggy day, um, September day morning, so I, it was a perfect day to wear my hoodie. And this hoodie, um, it says Enfermera, which means nurse in Spanish. I actually, this is my merch, I designed it and I sell it. I'll put the link down below if you want one. It comes in t-shirt and a lot of different colors in unisex sizes. So the tubes are currently spinning and just wanted to give you some more information in case this is the very first video of mine that you are watching. My name is Mayela. I am a public health nurse. I make um, a lot of YouTube videos here on uh, YouTube about my day in the life of a nurse, other sit down informational videos about nursing, everything related to nursing, and thrifting. Those are two very different topics but there are two things that I'm pretty passionate about. So. Um, go ahead and check the rest of my channel out so you can see what else I posted but today um, currently I am the only one in the office there may be some more people coming in today but I'm not sure and I know because of COVID there has not really been that many people coming into the office here at the organization that I work closely with um, but we currently also have wildfires going on. Um, luckily, here in this area, they are pretty contained. So I, um, in the last Day in the Life nurse video, you saw that a lot of people were evacuated and had just start come had just come back home after the evacuation orders were lifted. Um, so today. My plan is, I'm so actually supposed to be seeing one other person. Uh, they were supposed to show up at 8 o'clock, so I had two people scheduled, but they didn't show up. I did message them on my work phone, um, but I haven't heard back from them, so we'll see if they show up in a little bit. Hopefully they do, because they do need to get some blood work done. So I do a lot of blood work, a lot of blood pressure checks. Later today, I may be going out to one of the farms to check in on people. It's been a few weeks since I was able to go to the farms because um, of the closures and the evacuations. There was work road closures. So um, we'll see what we do. Yesterday was a holiday, it was Labor Day, so today's my first day back. Don't worry, I do have a mask I wear when I'm in front of patients and obviously I take it off to speak to you guys because, um, or else it'll be pretty difficult for you to hear me. So I do have a mask that I am wearing with patients and we do screenings, uh, COVID screening questions with everyone that I come into contact with. So that is what we're doing. Now I'm just gonna log in and check out my email and see what other things, uh, messages await me. And now, like I said, I am logging into the system and making sure that I'm not missing anything for today. Now the tubes are ready. They have already been spun. Usually it is five minutes in our organization. So I take them out and I'm just showing you the way it separates here. Um, after they are completed, I do make sure to bag them in a biohazard bag and place the order uh, printed inside too. And I do have a cooler where I keep an ice pack and keep all the specimens until I drop it off at the hospital. So that is what I'm doing right now. And then cleaning up my station. 
So now it's already about 8.45 and I am gonna have my breakfast. I do bring um, food with me every day, saves me time, money, and there's also that not that many options here in this small town. Um, there is two, three rest, three options to eat. There's a restaurant, like a sit-down restaurant, which is closed currently, a deli or a taqueria. So I always just bring food. Um, I'm gonna have my coffee and my breakfast. Right now I'm gonna chart the people that I saw and just go ahead and check my emails. I haven't been able to check them yet. I see a whole bunch waiting for me today. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So let's just keep working. I usually bring uh, overnight oats with peanut butter and it's so good. All right, so I just had a phone call with the um, our medical director. I guess that they are planning some kind of testing event here at um, in this area because of the fires. Everyone was, you know, all over the place. People were at hotels together, so there's a lot of concerns about COVID um, being spread during that time. So I guess tomorrow we're going to be having a, um, a testing event, and what my team and I are going to be doing is supervising it's actually a self-collection test so I guess there's two meetings that are, I'm going to be part, in, part of today at 11 and at 1 o'clock so I guess my schedule's filled up a little bit more but that's okay next I am going to be setting up my work laptop for those zoom meetings since my laptop has a camera and my uh, desktop does not and this meeting actually started with a small meditation session which was great because there's a lot going on so it is very important to take care of your mental health and I'm just showing you my area it is a mess <laughs> but I'm sure everyone can relate and now it is lunchtime. Hello, so I just finished the last meeting for the day. What time is it? It's about two o'clock right now. And I had about three Zoom meetings today. Usually that doesn't really happen. Um, I do a lot of hands-on stuff, a lot with patients, but today it's kind of like a last minute event, a testing event that we are planning. Let me put you guys down. Yeah, so it's a last minute testing event that is being planned and it takes a whole village it's the county and some other um, organizations that are going to be part of it including my me and my team so we did a lot of discussions on logistics and now that i know all the information i do um, wednesdays other days that the nurse practitioners come out and we come out as a team and see patients but I'm going to have to cancel the people that are on the schedule for tomorrow because we're going to be doing the testing. So that's what I'm going to do now. I do have to leave around 3.15 because I still have to head back to the hospital to drop off those uh, labs that I collected earlier today. Um, I'll, I've said this in other videos, but this is a small rural town there's no clinics or hospitals here um, the hospital that we are connected to is about 30 miles away so it is my responsibility to take the specimens over to the lab at the hospital so they can be processed because if I don't draw them off then there's no hospital here to, for them to be processed. So I'm gonna leave in about an hour, 15 minutes, an hour and a half, and that will be the end of my day. But now I'm gonna make some phone calls to patients and reschedule their appointments that were set for tomorrow. I did have to um, end up getting some medication ready. There was a patient who stopped by the office to pick up some refills of the lidocaine patch for lower back pain. So I was getting that ready for him. And then after that, I made sure and cleaned up my station and started packing up to head home. Hello, so I'm all packed up. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon now. I have my purse and my backpack on and I'm ready to head out. Like I said earlier, I do need to go to the hospital to drop off those specimens so they can be processed and resulted. Um, yes, so today was a good day. A lot of meetings, a lot of planning for 
tomorrow and um yeah hopefully you enjoyed watching a day in the life of a public health nurse i like i said in the last video i do a lot of hands-on stuff hands-on nursing skills but i also do a lot of case management and other things um that us nurses do so if you like thrifting and nurse content definitely subscribe it's free new video every sunday i hope to see you on my next one thank you so much for watching bye